Hey YouTube, it's the American Samurai coming to you once again, almost live, small thing to say. Back of the audio book, another audio book review for you. Today we are looking at another one of the Mr. Monk books. Specifically, we are looking at Mr. Monk in Outer Space. And if you're wondering why he wears a hazmat suit on the cover of this book, let me read you the synopsis here. Adrian Monk has journeyed into a realm of cult science fiction show Beyond Earth. Where he meets fans just as obsessive and compulsive as he is. Monk is at the convention because there may be a killer lurking in the Beyond Earth community. Someone in a starship uniform has publicly gunned down the show's legendary creator, Conrad Strike, a, a Stipe. Could a fan be, uh, be that furious at him for selling out to an exploitative Hollywood producer? Or is there more going on behind the scenes in Stipe's life? Um, the narrator is Angelina Brazil. Uh, if I may mention in the previous book, I miss her two says she did a wonderful job, and I hope she and she continues that quality of work here. Though this is one of those books where I kind of wish um, they would do one with a male voice, just because it seems weird to think of uh, Mr. Monk talking to a high pitched voice. But uh, the character's true enough, I think you can pass that. And the running time is about six hours to three minutes. Uh, so basically, if you didn't get it, this is basically the closest thing we'll ever get to Mr. Monk goes to a Star Trek convention. Uh, the show's synopsis is um, similar in some aspects to Star Trek, um, even to the season's length. Um, for uh, the show having around for three seasons and then getting an animated series, which I believe was uh, I believe the length of the original Star Trek's run. And not to mention the captain's. Uh, almost Kirk-like uh, desire to go after any female alien he sees. So yeah, um, Beyond Earth is pretty much made. Um, in a way, this does poke fun at sci-fi fandom. Um, let's get that right away right now. This may offend some hardcore fans. But Beyond Earth itself is a fictional series. I have seen fans, I have heard rumors of fans speaking in Vulcans in Star Trek conventions. Klingons in Star Trek conventions. And not to mention, I'm sure there are Doctor Who fans who have probably learned one or two alien languages from the various enemies, or allies in some cases. So, uh, it may very well, um, but it does a very interesting concept with this, I think. Um, it's showing the darker side of the, of the sci-fi fan demographic. Um, also adding to the fact that Adrian's brother is basically an expert on Beyond Earth. Um has literally written three books about the series though he may have, he says he may he himself may have written more um but we see three at the convention uh, well we'll hear about three at the convention so yeah um overall this is different i think it's interesting to see mr monk basically confront something that has similarities to himself in some aspects but not in others the obsessive compulsive disorder um that's one of the few times you see Monk think somebody's weird. Um, but as I said before, this also includes Monk's brother, who I believe... I'm not sure how many times he showed up in the show. Um, but I know he is basically... Uh, they based him primarily on Minecraft homes, so... Yeah. If, I guess Monk's supposed to be Sherlock, then, this is, then his brother's Minecraft. So it's pretty cool that his brother shows up in this. I'm not sure how many books uh, his brother shows up in. If you guys know how many episodes um, Adrian's brother shows up in, let me know in the comments below. Overall, I enjoyed this book, but I don't think I enjoyed it as much as Two Assistants. Um, so I give this about a four, four and a half out of five. Um, it's pretty good. I would not recommend starting here, especially if you are a hardcore sci-fi fan. Um, but if you're looking for a monk case where you get to see monk kind of out of his element. Being forced to confront something that he has no idea what's going on, then yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Mr. Monk in Outer Space. Alright, I'll see you guys. Well, that's my review. Uh, leave a comment below if you guys have any Mr. Monk books you would like me to check out. Um, also, go ahead and let me comment below what's your favorite episode of uh, Monk and from what season is it? If you're a Monk fan, because I'm kind of curious. I, I've only seen handful of episodes from seasons three through eight and most and a good chunk of seasons 
one and two, and that's about it. Um, but, uh, if you think I deserve it, give me that thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the B&B. That's bye-bye.